Hi everyone and welcome back to another video and a special welcome to Nick, who is a first time visitor here on the channel. First of all, welcome to Taiwan. Thank you. It's good to be here. Second of all, who are you and <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, my name is Nick. I am a, a travel vlogger. Been making videos full time for about two years now. I uh, spent a lot, of, a lot of time in Indonesia. Recently came to Taiwan and I'm here to cycle the entire island. And I heard that Taiwan is not only your only goal of, of cycling. You're on a, on a quest of no. cycling the world. It well, says. we'll get there. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, the goal is to do uh, Taiwan first. And then, like I said, I spent about a year and a half in Indonesia. Uh, I spent 11 years in Japan before uh, oh wow! Yeah, before quitting my job there and and traveling full time, you didn't you didn't find your way around the island of Japan or like why, why did it take you eleven not. years? I mean, to buy? Well, <laughs> I moved there to teach English and I loved it. Uh, had a really good job and eventually just wanted to do something different and so I quit and decided to uh, travel full time and start vlogging. And uh, first destination was Indonesia. Eventually, I met my girlfriend and she kind of convinced me to, to cycle. We chose Taiwan first. Why Taiwan first? It's not really uh, the, the most obvious hmm, Why did we choose location? Taiwan? It's a good question. I mean, we, so she's from Malaysia. I had been in Indonesia for a long time and I think we were just wanting to go someplace completely different. You know, the same reason I left Texas the first time to go to Japan. I wanted to go mm. someplace with a completely different culture, food, you know, language even, just to go somewhere completely different. And and only plan on going there for like a year, two years, of course. And then next thing yeah, you know, I'm there for 11. <laughs> I can relate. I can yeah, relate. Yeah. yeah. But eventually, you know, I just wanted to do something different. And I like watching travel vloggers. And, you know, that was kind of what I liked watching on YouTube. And I was like, you know what? I want to try that. I want to do that. And so I did make a lot of videos while I was living in Japan, travel around as you know in my area eventually i just kind of pulled the trigger and said i'm gonna quit and travel full time oh wow and so it's been good though uh indonesia's been great for me and i've seen a lot of the country been to a lot of places and me and my girlfriend stayed there for one month mm -hmm. last year actually okay. and i wanted to ask you about that too because i made some comparison videos mm -hmm. between like bali and and taiwan mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. i would still argue that as long-term living mm -hmm. bali isn't really that ideal mm -hmm. but I love it as like a vacation right. resort, but that's why I'm here like mm -hmm. Taiwan long term. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to ask you like from what you have seen so far mm -hmm. from Taiwan and like Bali or, mm -hmm. or Indonesia in general, how would you say like long term settling down living? What would be the differences? I guess it just depends on what you're into. If you like the sun and you like beautiful beaches and maybe you like to surf, then obviously Bali is going to be your, your choice, even though I think Taiwan has a yeah, surf the, scene. The East Coast so is probably not as big as right? Bali, but right. Taiwan would be good just for long term, I would say. It's a pretty safe place. It's pretty, uh, it's obviously well developed and uh, organized and whatnot. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Japan. How much did you know about Taiwan before coming here? I didn't know quite a whole lot. I mean, I, I, I realized that Taiwan is not China. <laughs> They're not one and the same. And so kind of get got the gist that China is always wanting to invade and always warning. And yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's especially like mm -hmm. living here in Taiwan. It's been it's been hard to miss mm -hmm. these last mm -hmm. couple of years. Right. But I also wanted to say, because uh, when I see your, your videos, uh -huh. the same way you're not the average uh, Texan, you're also not the average just like travel mm -hmm. vlogger because you well, really you. go like deep into like the places you visit, right, like, right, especially right. like like Taiwan. Mm -hmm. You seem to be well more well educated mm -hmm. compared to like the, the average vlogger jumping straight into like mm. the night markets pig blood cakes oh yeah it's yeah, the yeah. it's the stinky tofus mm -hmm. the real fun mm -hmm. with like the meat mm -hmm. on top of the rice mm -hmm. what's your what's your favorite taiwanese dish so far man my favorite it's a soup that i found in tainan it's like the clear white broth soup it, uh it has like the the fried white fish fillets inside you okay. can you, it's served with noodles too my friend said it's like tu tu or something like that like the tu it's the kanji is like soil something fish okay like the first kanji is soil and so it doesn't translate very well <laughs> obviously you don't really sell it in, in i'm not in but it's, way. It's, it's so good it's like a it's a thick white soup that has uh cilantro and cabbage and then fried fish in there and it's it's i don't know that's my favorite the breakfast i really like here too that's one thing both japan and indonesia don't do very well at i would say is the breakfast <laughs> is the breakfast <laughs> taiwan is a breakfast country i would say mm, oh uh, yeah no I, that's my absolute favorite too it's like the bacon dumping the it's, bacon dump yeah man you never you never had a bacon dumping guess not come on let me uh <laughs> show you I got this 
What is that? Oh yeah, that is a bacon dumpling. This is it? <laughs> yes, yes, it's this like is a, it. the Taiwanese version of a ham and cheese burrito. Yeah, kinda. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, it's, yeah. Like, I basically go up there, I'm like, this is what I want. <laughs> yes. like, okay, I got you. Okay, time out. I, uh, I'm sorry, but I have not been actually 100% truthful to you guys because although it was true that bacon dumpling was actually my favorite food here in Taiwan for my first 12 years here in Taiwan, this was before I moved in together with my girlfriend who has now been cooking for me every single day since we moved in together. And this was also way before I heard about the sponsor of today's video, Bruno. If you never heard about Bruno before, then Bruno is an appliance brand with products ranging from outdoor camping equipment to this air fryer to make your Taiwanese apartment a true Taiwanese home filled with homemade food every single day. And if you never heard about an air fryer before, then it's basically like the most convenient oven slash fryer you've ever used, which is using high speed circulating air to heat up whatever is inside, which provides healthy, crispy and low fat fried food at any time. Now, I know that this is going to be very hard to believe for some people, but since we moved in here to this apartment over two months ago now, I've actually only ordered food online once. And that is all thanks to Bruno and, of course, my amazing girlfriend, who is the one taking care of the household and the cooking here in the apartment. This air fryer has 10 smart menu options covering everything from frying, grilling, baking and reheating, which means that even I can do all kinds of cooking in the fryer. But if you're feeling more adventurous, you can of course also adjust both the temperature and time yourself with an ultra wide range of 60 to 200 degrees. And thanks to the small and sleek design, after cooking you can remove the entire frying basket plus the removable button plate for easy cleaning in the dishwasher, even in a Taipei apartment sized bench top dishwasher like this one. And speaking about the Bruno air fryer and hot deals in general, Bruno now has a special promotion on their website. All you have to do is to click the link down in the description. And please do not forget that once you've received your own Bruno air fryer, please do reach out to me on social media to share your own recipes and tips and tricks so we can try that here in our home as well. And now I can smell that minty. I just finished tonight's dinner in the air fryer, which means that it's my turn to take care of the dessert. And while I do that, it's time for you to head back to the video and get to know Nick a little bit more. You mentioned like the, the safety about Taiwan mm. and I, like my absolute favorite moment from your, your Taiwanese videos is when you are at Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall mm -hmm. and you're just like, you know what, I'm just going to put down my umbrella here and I'll pick it up later. And then, That's a... and then you just walk away uh -huh. and then you just can see the umbrella in the background. You know? <laughs> Uh, to me, I feel like that's like the most Taiwanese thing you can do, you know, really? as, as mean, like a tourist in Taiwan. It feels kind of like Japan in a sense that like that, <laughs> that, that, that sense of security and safety. If I were to leave my wallet or something on the MRT, probably a good chance I'd get that back. I've had friends mm -hmm. who has gotten their wallet back before they even realized it was missing. Mm, like they, yeah, okay. they drop it on the street and then like literally like within an hour, mm -hmm. they get a phone call from the police. It's like, I got hey, your got wallet. Your wallet. And, and they're like, oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, no yeah, shit. Yeah. I mean, that's not the, the case in other places like Indonesia but that's what makes it so exciting too though you gotta have to be on alert a lot of times like it's just it's it's intense sometimes I like to go deep into the local villages and yeah and uh, you see some pretty cool stuff and it's just real and raw and I love it your Taiwanese videos you mm -hmm. already go deep like even like your first day mm -hmm. like you land at Taoyuan Airport mm -hmm. with your bike right and you're like I'm gonna, I'm gonna bike go. to Taipei. That's what I did. I uh, I, sh I came here from Malaysia with my bike. I screwed up though. The plan was just to assemble the bike in the airport and then ride out of the airport. I figured maybe there's a, a sidewalk or some way to get to a road and just cycle, you know? That's not the case. My girlfriend cycled Taiwan a month earlier and she had similar problems. She did that and uh, she got stopped by the police actually. Like she got on the highway, I think. And the police <laughs> were like, sorry, young lady, uh, you cannot do that. I mean, they didn't like, give her a ticket or nothing but they were really nice to her and they took her to the bus stop from there she was able to take a bus find her way i've never thought about that mm -hmm. like you cannot like walk or take a bike mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to or like from the airport right like when you fly to bali mm -hmm. like the, the street is like right, right, right. there you, you know it's like out. <laughs> it's basically like you're landing on one of the streets right, it's like right. right next to it i got there at midnight and i assembled my bike in the middle of the night and then the mrt station opened at like 5 50 6 a.m and i had my bike already put together and thinking I could just get on the MRT. I really just wanted to ride one station, like like I like I was saying. I did I I didn't want to take the MRT all the way to Taipei. The guy looked at me and he's like, "Ma'am." Hey, 
<laughs> can't do that. <laughs> you, know, you can't do that. You I'm couldn't like, take it on the on the MRT. You mean? Well, you, the regulations don't allow that from the airport. I think oh. in other places in Taipei, maybe you can. Okay, yeah, you yeah, can yeah, ride yeah, with you your can. bike, and so I thought maybe you could. Uh, that's the rule. I broke it. On, on it. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I. Uh, But now you're here. At least you I, made it. I made Somehow it. You made the it. The guy was just like, you know what? If you ride one station, we will let you do it. And I was like, that's really all I want to do, you know. And so I rode to the the. The station after the airport got out, and then rode along the coast through the Bali district. Taiwan through, Bali, not not back to Indonesia Bali again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. The uh, that's a Bali. good easy transition there. Yeah, spending I'm like, like a year and a half in Indonesia. Uh -huh. First thing you see in Taiwan is Bali. Right, exactly. The <laughs> Bali district. So I, I rode along the coast and then crossed over the uh, the Tamsui River, and then it took a while, two or three hours, but it's a I don't know. A good way to get acquainted with Taiwan, I guess. Your main mission here in Taiwan mm -hmm. is to to cycle around the island, right? And where are we, like uh, status-wise? How well, far have we gone? My girlfriend gets here on Sunday, and then when she gets here, we're gonna uh, pack up everything, and we're gonna go. We're gonna head to the east coast and uh, do that, you know, that side of the the island first. I've already cycled around the mountain Ying Yangmingshan. Yes. Yeah, the mountain like north of the of north Taiwan. of uh, yeah. Taipei, and so I I, uh, I cycled uh, from I guess around this area all the way around to Keelung. Three uh, three days, two nights. You know, I'm just camping in a tent. Yesterday, I just got back from the Chiang Kai-shek Statue Park. Mm. And so I went there and also went to the Jingmei White Terror Museum. And, and that story. And also, I just wanted to see that park with all the statues. It seems kind of crazy and mm -hmm. creepy and so yeah it's uh yeah you, it's you, you go there you're trying to figure out uh -huh. like what is this because uh -huh. I, i didn't know the background I, i went there like i think three four years ago mm -hmm. i i didn't know the background mm -hmm. i just saw like a, a bunch of statues a, a beautiful pond mm -hmm. and then like all these statues mm -hmm. and i'm like this is such a weird right, place right, right, to right, put right. these statues that's what i want to do like uh taiwan has such a interesting history i think and so before i came here i just wanted to like learn as much as i can people like chiang kai-shek has a very interesting legacy and story and his legacy lives on and and not The greatest way sometimes and that's why that park exists <laughs> that's what i like to do on, the, on, on my channel i just like to go to places like that and try to share their story and and um, try to i don't want to teach or educate people but it's just it's starting to realize why you left your teaching job in japan yeah. <laughs> if, that's, if that's the mindset <laughs> right right i mean i'm not trying to like i wanted to be entertaining but i also wanted to be somewhat informative in a way like you know i want to make vlogs that aren't just me uh walking around with nothing interesting to do what's the what's the most interesting or What's your your best part of uh, your two weeks here in Taiwan mm, so far? Just getting adjusted to the bike. I'm, I'm not a, a cyclist. I'm, I'm this is new for me, honestly. And so just getting uh, used to the bike. And, and you then, figure like biking around Taiwan is like the the, the uh, best first thing. To I do. think so. A lot of hills <laughs> and a lot of mountains and uh, you know it's. So far, it's been cool. You know, I was surprised when I got here how many cyclists there are. Mm. They're everywhere. You know, they don't necessarily look like me with the paneer bags and all my stuff <laughs> on the back. They're pretty serious, but they're everywhere. You yeah. know, and it's in there's bike paths and in, uh, in really good condition and beautiful, and they're paved really. You know, it's just it's a very nice uh, route. It usually, always takes you to the the river. Mm -hmm. No matter, like it's, yeah, it's, it's really yeah, hard it's to like, find a bike route that cuts through the city. I think. Yeah. So no, it's like, like okay, the, we want you to go to the river, and then pff, the river is like the biking highway. Here. Right? Yeah, it's And like so, it's much faster to I've go around that. everything. I woke up in the mountains. I, I found a place uh, by a temple. A really nice family they said yeah you could sleep over there in the corner set up your tent really nice they brought me mangoes and food and a pakari sweat that, that doesn't tell me anywhere on where you actually know, work it's it's closer to be, Keelung, like, I'm sorry. Like 20, closer to Keelung. it was like <laughs> Keelung city and then like a little bit of ways and then i just shut up the mountain right okay but anyways from there i rode back to taipei city and when i got Closer to Taipei City and like into the uh, on the bike route, everyone was out. It's Sunday, and you see the dragon boat racers out there. Mm. People here just do so many activities from all different ages, right? I've seen inline skating under the under the over uh, under the overpasses. People out there playing American football, pads on and everything. I'm like whoa! And then of course, 50, 60 year olds playing softball. They got hockey. They I've seen archery. Every single sport you can imagine, they're doing it out there, and it's really cool to see. The short time I've been here, I cycled on both sides of the river and just kind of taking it all in. And which side is the best? Which side the, is the, the Taipei best? Taipei City Man. or the new Taipei City side? Oh no! <laughs> Man, which was the best? It's hard to. I'm not. I'm a. <laughs> I'm gonna plead the fifth on that one. <laughs> so I'm really excited to get out of Taipei and seeing more of Taiwan, honestly, because I think it's gonna be really beautiful.
Yeah. And of course, if that's something that you want to see as yeah. well, you can of course follow his adventure on his YouTube channel. You have all the links down Please in the do. description. Do. You know the drill, like, subscribe, and also share this video mm -hmm. and also his channel with someone who you think should know more about Taiwan from his perspective and specifically on a bike here yes. in Taiwan. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Lucas. Starts with L as in like, <laughs> ends with S as in subscribe. Please do both and see you all in the next one.